Best front oh, what about though. TA? Stupid. Brave. Fenton. It is the PL. Yeah. Yeah. We will write first off. How do you feel about this draft, Misery, the Tundra draft? Do you I liked what Nigma did and towards the end there. Over towards the it's top not... side. Oh. GH. Oh. 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 They baited him. They baited him thinking, oh, oh. He does die. And he might even die here. He has that fade bolt. He's not even a pulse 5, he can't even uh, justify dying for a ward here. Mind control, is there anything he can do? I don't think so. If he dies. Let's see, if he let's dies. see. What? Not dead yet. One more right click. Oh, he loves Got the it. vacuum, gets the kill. 33 brings him down, and actually, they're going for more here. Mind control being chased. Kuro's going to throw in the... Uh... Oh, enough. Mm -hmm. Got yeah, it. And Skitter is not trading with top lane at all. 33 managed to grab the rune. Nine suddenly, uh, Miracle suddenly realizes, wait a minute, this... this... Dark is pretty low here. Might be able to grab myself a kill. X marks comes down. Boat is there, and there we go. Miracle grabbed himself a freebie, so didn't get. He's level four, and uh, they're already pressuring top lane. Can they? Oh, he might fall. Ah, there's no meteor hammer. That's a relief. Nightmares out anyway, as that will be taken onto the Rubik instead. And Skidder actually getting pretty aggressive here. And in comes Nine. They're looking to finish off Mind Control. And the screen will allow them to do exactly that. The OD is dead. Still pretty healthy. And PL, even though his beginning was pretty much terrible, uh, he's recovering. Yeah. Meanwhile, we have ourselves a very dead Darkseer here, I believe. Although that's had 33, trying to move his way to the trees here. But unfortunately, his Duke path is a little bit restricted because guess who's coming in? It's ILTW who scoops up the kill onto 33 and now doing a lot of damage in response. But he's going to get stunned up here. Nine has a lot of damage as well. ILTW gets caught out. Oh, no. As soon as possible. Sleep is there. Yep. Let's see, where's the follow-up? They're going for Kuro. They want to try and take down the support first, or at least trigger that ultimate upon him. And now they move over towards Mind Control as well. Mind Control definitely going to get finished up here. He does get off the Astrolad onto himself. GH actually coming in, trying to help out in some way, shape, or form, but there's nothing they can do as Mind Control gets killed off. They'll look over to Kuro. He will fall as well. Two kills for Tundra. Can Enigma get any kind of revenge here? They're jumping onto Fata, but they can't get the damage off to take him down. Now he gets off the grip. Fata on a sliver of HP is going to be able to bring down ILTW. Oh, dearie me. That went so bad, so quickly for Team Nick. They're going for Miracle. They're not done, are they? They want the full five-man team wipe. But BKB timely arrives for Miracle here as he can try to turn this one around, but they've still got a lot of physical damage to throw his way. They'll force him out of the fight. They won't get the kill, but still chasing back finish? Miracle, and it was a big, big fight. He's alone. He can't do that much. He was saving a Photic Shield for Bane's grip, but they killed him before the grip, so it didn't really help. Well, Nigma, they're wasting no time in getting him back involved here as they look on towards the next Assassin Nightmare. It's gonna buy him nice a little wall. bit of time, and oh my goodness, the wall, the damage, they're melting. Nigma, they turn up to this fight, and just as quickly, they are sent back home. Horrible timing here as 33 has just finished, finished off this Aghanim Scepter, and I'm willing to bet he did a ton of damage in this team fight, but they just get grouped up together and taken on down the advantage. There's just those two team fights bang 4k, and ILTW. once again, Snaking finds ILTW, gets him on full AG from the stun from Invis, not being greedy going in for the damage or anything, just knows he needs to get stunned off ASAP, and that's going to be another great kill for the side of the GH. What is happening? GH, this is not the neighborhood you want to turn up to. Goodness gracious. He is just gone. And now Kunkai is sleeping in. But uh, he, is, he is turning into this Dark Seer and stealing his Iron Shells, which is kind of cute. 33. Talking about which, might be stealing more of those Iron Shells right now as they unleash onto 33. Can they save his life? Fado's going to come in with the Nightmare to try and buy him some time. But Miracle, he's got the BKB trying to take him down, but they won't kill off the Dark Seer. And now, guess who's in? It's Skidder. He's trying to do some damage here, but he can't really get in. It's a little awkward from Tundra. But now they find GH. That's a kill they can get. The Torrent comes down. And now the Astral as well, holding back the advances off nine. But they're going to get on top of Miracle. Miracle without the BKB. He will fall. The Tundra are going to be happy with that. They won't find any more from this fight, at least. The little lamb, it's out on front. Snaking just constantly looking here. He's even got a Yules to set up on to the Rubik. A bit close to stealing Spike Carapace just to be annoying. Now speeding the mana burn. Um, can he get away here? Nine, he's going to jump in. A Sonic Wave to try and finish the job. The Astral comes out, though, keeping him alive. Vacuum. 
a little bit more will be needed. Nine jumps in and gets the double kill on the back line there. Kuroji H both taken out. Now the lose mind control as well. It's three kills for nine. Can he make it four as they're jumping in for more? Da vacuum down to the low ground onto RTW. It's cute, but it's not quite enough to get that kill. They don't have any more lockdown, therefore they will get away on the Morphling and on the Kunker. Okay. But Mike, the bet is what you... It's what? It's 21 minutes into the game, Lizard. Yeah, but we got we got one funny number. That's all we needed. For like half a second. To be honest, like one of those frontliners yeah. that give a lot of space for your backline to actually set up team fights. Yakiro, what the hell? Is all it right. miss sanking then? Yeah. Okay. So talk to me through the mid sanking. What what does that do? It, it doesn't die. The combination with Jakira later on, if he goes for like an Agonims or something use the Tusk Shard, which is now makes it super, super long. Um, that can be kind of cheeky. Meanwhile, Fada, he's getting beaten in right now, yo. This is uh, this ain't looking too bad. First Blood, maybe go on the way of Nygma Galaxy down here. One more tap will be required, and there it goes. One damage onto GH. Meanwhile, the Sand King, he's so down low. Looks like Nine won't be able to finish. Oh, Snake is here, though. He's Goodbye. That... Oh. Um, that, that's the thing, right? Like, he was going for the pop, but look no. at that. No, but leave Miracle got alone. Come on, got come it. on, not like this. Oh, snaking you pick. Man, Miracle, it, it, it's one of those situations in which you just want to all chat. Like, if, if this. What do you think the build is on this Jakira then? Will it be like Veil into Ags or something like that? Or will you go for a more kind of supporty with, uh, you know, some team? Well, that, that. Yeah, snowballing forward onto Fata here. Very, very aggressive, but GH doesn't really have the help to do this. And with the rotation in from nine, they're going to be able to bring down GH to TP away from mind control, though. That is a heads up play from him, and that's going to get him out of danger. So, honestly, not the greatest rotation from the Queen of Pain. They Again, admittedly, not quite in such a dramatic way as last game, but. Remnants of last game certainly starting to be felt once again. Mind Control looking for the play onto Farza hit. Crow comes in from behind with the cookie as well. The Bane getting very low, roasted, toasted, and dead. Now Snowball comes out onto Snaking, but in comes the Queen of Pain tearing through Mind Control. They're going to be able to bring Kuroki down as well as Snaking finds him on the side. Skitter and Nine looking for GH. GH not very healthy, and Nine with the nukes will be able to bring down the Tusk as well, making it three kills going there. Oh, oh hold on, hold on. Call it a little bit early here. RTW joining in, has the stun. Does oh, nice, oh, nice dodge from GH as well. Many, not plenty, but... Better than nothing at this point. LTW. And it comes Mind Control trying to turn this around with a macro player, but just not doing enough damage at this point. Though that said, GH does come through. They'll take the first life of Wraith King. 33 is nearby as well, however. Staking Skidder. Are they able to fight in to this one? I don't think so. The Mortimer's Kiss has come through and they bring down Skid. A big kill for the side of Nigma Galaxy. And they think they're chasing 33 again. This doesn't seem like the steps. Do not walk up the... All right, didn't work. That's a problem. Uh, yeah, that's a dead Luna. I will eat the cheese. I will eat the cheese. Great voice line. I'm gonna have to buy that one. So, uh, well, you know, time pain? for another fight here. They have got the cookie out onto nine, but Queen of Pain is pretty damn tanky at this point. Nightmare out of the back lines for Fado as well. Might be giving his life for this one, but 33 comes across to try and help out as they look towards GH. GH losing his life here. He's the one who's going to fall. And now Tundra looking for more. They are on the hunt. And they are on top of Kuro and Miracle at the same time. They want to focus their attention onto Miracle. They bring him down with the Timber Chain. Meanwhile, Kiss is coming across. Trying to catch out Skidder. Skidder turns himself to a pig, runs himself away, but it's Kuro who has died in the back lines. Nine is still running around. He just wants a high five. He doesn't want to kill anyone anymore. He's a pacifist now. RTW, unfortunately, he is not dealing with pacifists as he gets. Two man under the tower. The carry hero is dead. Four down. Two on the top lane. Slowly, Skitter is pressuring it, but they're trying to defend. Look, three TPs. But the little piggy will run away. Doesn't want to be turned into bacon by this Jakiro. And actually, 33 comes sliding in across. He doesn't care about no tower. He doesn't care about no trees neither. He doesn't care about anything. Miracle thumping away in the back, charging up that ultimate. Right there, and the sleep comes out for an easy double kill for the side of Tundra as they take down GH and Mind Control in the flash of an eye. Skinner does get taken down the once by Miracle, but unfortunately he's now going to lose his life as well. It's three dead on Nygma. They make a kind of half-attempted effort to defend that tower. They don't manage it. They lose a lot of heroes. 
And now Curry is even being bullied at mid as well. What can you do? What can you do about this? Completely necessary for Nigma. However, fought a man, he's so good. Hey everyone, heard you were smoking. Would, did you want to smoke into me? Oh, the whole team's coming to this. Actually, this isn't even just a sacrificial play. This is a turnaround play as a Sonic Wave comes cutting through. Bye bye, Tundra. Uh, sorry, bye bye, Nigma. As they take down three of them, we'll lose Kuro. Uh, but, sorry, we'll lose Fada, but that's. Nigma is actually unable to get. Maybe if they have a shovel, they can try and hit that creep in the base. Oop, 33. <laughs> Timber chain up to the high ground. I love this kind of play, and now is joining him as well. The two big boys with two lives to go, and then Knight jumping in as well. They're trying to turn around onto Knight. They know exactly who they want to try and bring down. He's got another BKB, though, and a double damage. They'll look towards Kuro. He's the first one to fall in the back of the team fight. Meanwhile, the rest of Nigma just getting themselves back. Sanking still sitting on the front lines. Skidder not going to lose that first life, so he does heal up from that creep. And 33, still with the Aegis, haven't lost anyone yet, maybe, just maybe, they can take down 33, the damage coming in, they will get the kill onto the Timber Sword, but he's going to be coming back in in just a second. Waiting for another Aegis. Here it goes. He's going, he's going, the Bane's in trouble, can they finish him off? It's a question, the Nightmare comes out, it's going to be enough to save his life. He's back to full, thank you very much Snaking, but Snaking's given his life for this play. Miracle has gone down, however, as Nine just jumps in with the Sonic Wave once again, RTW, he's just bailing. And he is gone, pops the Eclipse, BKB, and then TP's away. Bad, you know, it's, it's how it is. But 33, he's got a heart now, by the way. Heart, I believe that's a Sanjin Cairo, I'd guess. Yeah. Um, nice little uh, hood on top of that as well, and, and a casual Octarine core in his pocket as well. He's actually the richest hero in the game, and they are feeling this right now. They have to snowball RTW out of trouble here, but now Pops the Eclipse doing a good amount of damage, but taking a lot of damage at the same time as well. Has to back away. They lose GH though. That's it for now. Tundra are just chilling out. You know, they're going to set themselves back. They don't want to be... The pace. Mind control is nothing short of miserable. He's got these budget items, which... Means that he, when they poke, he's going to do might work, but actually, Nine's just jumping in on the back lines here, popping that BKB and taking down that Jakiro double buyback from Kuro and mind control straight off the bat. And now they look over towards Fata. They might be able to get the kill onto the Bane here, but no, never mind. The cavalry come through. They take the kill. Meanwhile, in the base, they're trying to kill off 33, but there's a time lapse, and now in comes the Wraith King. Tears Kuro apart for a second time. RTW under the cover of BKB is running away. That is not how you want to use your BKB. Nigma huddled inside the base. The smoke is out. They're fighting into Aegis. They're fighting into Cheese. This just is not going to happen. But one last hurrah from the guys on Nigma. Can they take him down? They, they can do a lot of work, but the Cheese comes out for the Queen of Pain just in time, keeping her alive. And now they'll turn their attention to Miracle. They'll make short work of him. They'll continue to pepper them from inside the fountain here. The Jakiro just doing work. RDW, I mean, 33 does not care. He's literally hands he's, off keyboard. Yeah, he's off to he's read. He's so it. annoying sometimes, just he's sitting there, series. you know. Like, yeah. They're trying to fight Did around him. He's, he's, he's an inconvenience more than anything. He's just parting <laughs> issues. He literally just pressed hold position and, I don't know, went to pee <laughs> or something, you know. Just... <laughs> I like how I'm too He's just like, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll buff your stats for you. Why not? Get some more damage done. The GG's are cooled and Nigma will be eliminated from this tournament. I'd love to say...